how to withdraw crypto from KuCoin to another wallet or exchange. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto from KuCoin to another wallet or exchange. For example, this is how to transfer Bitcoin from KuCoin to another wallet. So firstly, you want to go to assets in the top right, then click on your balance. On the next screen, you want to press withdraw in the top right. And then on the next screen in the top drop down, you want to pick the crypto that you plan to withdraw. For this example, I'm going to pick USDT. As I am sending this to another wallet, I want to make sure this is set to wallet address here. You then need the wallet address and network of where you want to send your crypto to, which you will get from your other wallet or exchange. In this example, I'm going to transfer my crypto to Bybit, but generally speaking, you can find the wallet address of where you are transferring your crypto to by going to the other exchange and looking for something along the lines of deposit or deposit crypto. If you want a tutorial for how to find a wallet address on a specific exchange that you may be using, then I recommend checking out my channel as I have videos explaining how to find wallet addresses on lots of different exchanges. So now I'm on Bybit. Once you are in the deposit crypto section of the exchange you are transferring to, you would then pick the crypto you want to deposit. So in my case, I'm going to pick USDT. Then to get your wallet address on Bybit, you need to pick the network you plan to send your crypto on. If we flip back to KuCoin for a second, you can see all the networks that KuCoin can send USDT on along with the associated fees and estimated arrival times. I'm going to pick one of the cheaper but faster ones, which is Solana. And I'm going to go back to Bybit and check they can receive USDT on Sol, which they can. So now I have picked the network. Bybit has given me my wallet address for this specific crypto and network. Wallet addresses will vary if you change either your cryptocurrency or network, and it's critical to pick the correct corresponding wallet address and network when transferring crypto, otherwise you risk losing your funds. I'm going to copy my wallet address from Bybit, and it's always worth copying the address or scanning the QR code rather than typing it manually. So now I'm back on KuCoin. If you're likely to send to this wallet address again, then you can add the wallet address to your address book by pressing the saved addresses button to the right of the address box. But I'm not going to do that today, so I'm just going to paste my wallet address here and then make sure the network is set to Sol, which it already is. You can then key in the amount that you want to send. So I'm going to send 10 and now below this, you can see any associated fees. So with this, there is a transaction fee of one USDT and the amount I will receive at my other wallet will be nine USDT. If you want to add a reference to this, then you can add it in the remarks box. Once you're happy with this, you can press withdraw and you will get the chance to review this transaction. And it's always worth reviewing the crypto network and other details before sending. And in addition to this, if it's your first time transferring to a wallet, then it's always worth sending a small test amount of crypto first, because if you key in the details wrong, then you will lose your funds. Once you're happy with everything, you can press submit. And depending on your security settings, you will likely have to enter your password and some multi-factor authentication. And once you've keyed in your security settings, you can press submit. And then after a period of time, as denoted by the network you picked earlier, your crypto should turn up on your other wallet. Please be aware that sometimes some crypto networks suffer from congestion, so the time suggestion is an estimate. For those looking for new exchanges, I have put some links of the ones I use down in the description below, where some of them have deposit bonuses and I may get a kickback if you sign up using them, and it massively helps support this channel and I will be forever thankful. So anyway, that is how to withdraw crypto from KuCoin to another wallet or exchange. If you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, then you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.